Welcome back. I wasn't expecting to be back in the garage quite so soon after my last video, uh, but I thought I'd take the opportunity this evening to get this brake master cylinder done. So I'll uh, so I'll get the brake master cylinder removed. I can have a look at the date code then and um, see if I need to send it back for uh, for exchange. So stick around. We'll try and do a bit of a how to. I'll try and show as much as I can removing the brake master cylinder. It's very hard to get the camera inside the car where I need it. Um, so I'll try my best but you can see I'll, I'll talk you through what I'm doing and uh, we can get it off and have a look at the uh, date code on the bottom. Right, the first job that I need to do is to get the brake fluid, or as much of it, out of the uh, master cylinder. So, having lots of children, some of you will uh, see these, you tend to collect lots of uh, medicine syringe things. So I've just got a, a plastic beaker there, and I'm just going to get out what I can with this. This may get a bit tedious, so I'll just speed it up. Now that's removed, that needs to be recycled, disposed of uh, appropriately. It's not going back in the car, you don't reuse brake fluid under any circumstances. When you're working with brake fluid, you've obviously got to be very careful not to get any on your paintwork. So. That's the majority of the fluid removed from the cylinder as you can see. Um, I'm going to disconnect the pipe now and then the next bit's the difficult bit. I've got to get under the, in the car, under the dash and take the, uh, take the pin out at the end of the pedal. shouldn't be a great deal of fluid come out of that pipe because of the angle it's at um, <clears throat> but it's always best just to put a rag or something underneath it in case there's any drips just to catch them. So now I've got to go inside the car and disconnect it from the pedal which I'll try and show you what I can. I think it's going to be really difficult if not impossible to show you under here. Um, disconnect that heater hose, I thought we might be able to see a bit more but we can't, it's right right in the middle at the back up there I've got to try and get at to uh, take the pin out so I'm going to do that without trying to film it because I think it's just going to be impossible and uh, I'll see you back outside the car in a few minutes. So it put up a bit of a fight but I don't know if you can see where it, the pin lives up in here, you have to take a split pin out, and then there's a um, what they called, I've forgotten, clevis pin, and then you have to take a clevis pin out, and uh, that's the brake pedal now free from the master cylinder. So I can go and remove the master cylinder now and check the date code. There's just two nuts remaining now, holding this on. One I need to use a spanner for, and one I can get a socket down the back of. The correct size for doing this job is a half inch, which I've got a half inch socket. Don't have a half inch spanner, so I've got a 13 mil spanner. It's close enough. With that removed, I need to put my finger over the end, check the date code on the bottom. Before I do that, I'm going to just grab my phone 
and check my emails to see uh, what the date code should be. So I've got the email open here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Um, can you see that? There's the date codes of the part in that section there. So I'm going to have a look to see if this falls into this category. It's B36 to B52 and C1 to C4. So I'll check that out now on my master cylinder. Now the code on here, you probably won't be able to see, appears to say L24D, which I don't think falls into the uh, category. So I'm going to do some more checks, send mini spares an email just to clarify, and then I'll have to refit it, unfortunately. Okay, so that'll wrap up this quite short video. I've removed the brake mass cylinder, I've had a look at the date code, and I've sent an email to mini spares just to clarify that date code. I don't believe it falls in the uh, affected range, so once they email back, I'll be able to get that refitted. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll put another video together when I put the master cylinder back on, just to keep a little bit of content coming out. And uh, I'll see you then.